بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon Muhammad and his holy household. I want to quote a portion of an article that was recorded on in the Telegraph. The front line in southeast Damascus now lies at the gates of one of the holiest sites for Shia Islam, the resting place of the granddaughter of the Prophet Muhammad. In the abandoned apartment blocks, some less than a hundred yards away, fighters from the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Jabhat al-Nusra train their sniper sights on the wrought iron entrance to the shrine. The caretaker and manager of Sayyidah Zainab Alayha's shrine has said that people of this group are calling him constantly. They're telling him that they want to wipe the shrine off the face of the earth. There, he said that two days ago one called and said, we are close by, we're coming for you. Why? Why would you want to destroy the shrine of Sayyidah Zainab alayha? Don't you know who she was? The granddaughter of the Prophet, but that's not all who she was. She reached the peaks, the heights of Irfan, of Islamic mysticism. There's only one sentence that I'm going to mention. When she accompanied her brother, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, to Karbala, she witnessed all of his companions murdered and slain. She watched her family members killed, her son and then she watched her brother, Imam Hussein, Sayyidah Shuhada, alayhi salam, killed by Shimmer the Cursed. She watched them mutilate his body. Then she was dragged from Karbala to Kufa, from Kufa to Sham. Finally, she's brought in front of Yazid the Cursed. Yazid asked her, what did you see of your brother in Karbala? Now look at how she answers this. She says, Ma ra'itu illa jamilan. I didn't see anything except beauty. Who could say such a thing? Only those who have reached the peaks of Irfan can even understand such a thing. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah that I've been blessed with the love of Sayyidah Zainab in my heart, insha'Allah ta'ala. The first shrine that I visited was her in Syria. And alhamdulillah, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I went there, it was peaceful, it was spiritual, mashallah. I fell in love so much that the next year when I got married, I got married next to this shrine. That a few years later, when I had my first daughter, when Allah blessed me, I named her Zainab. Now I implore all of you who are listening, all of you brothers, believing brothers and sisters, anybody who's listening, please do one thing for me. Pray that Allah continues to pr protect this shrine from the enemies, from these Wahhabi scum, from anyone who would want to harm it and harm anything to do with the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.